Still confused between relining and rebasing? Let's fix that in under 90 seconds. Relining means adding new material to the tissue surface or intaglio surface of the existing denture to improve adaptation and compensate for minor tissue changes. While rebasing involves replacing the entire denture base material, retaining the existing teeth for complete renewal of the denture base. Relining is done when there is loss of retention from moderate to minor ridge resorption or after post-surgical healing like at 6 to 8 weeks in immediate dentures. Whereas rebasing is indicated for severe tissue changes, discolored or porous denture bases or when the denture base is cracked or warped. In relining, the teeth remain attached. We are just readapting the tissue surface of the denture base. In rebasing, the teeth are kept intact, but the entire denture base is renewed. Relining can be done chair side using self cure or in the lab with heat cure resin. But rebasing is always a lab procedure involving flasking, de waxing, and complete processing. Relining usually preserves the occlusion unless major tissue changes occur. But with rebasing, occlusion should be carefully verified, maintained, and remounted if necessary. When ridges are severely resorbed or if the denture base is damaged or fatigued, relining won't help. That's when rebasing becomes the better choice. But if the denture teeth are worn or if you've lost occlusal vertical dimension, don't just reline or rebase. Just fabricate a completely new denture. Hope that helps. Want to learn about post-insertion problems in complete dentures? Click the link below and subscribe to Dentistified if you are serious about prosthodes.